I was really big. I was out of control. McDonald's and Domino's for dinner <laughs> were 9 living in a student house. I was 21 and a half stone and I've now lost three stone, which is <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> the trousers used to wear to work. He actually had to get them sized then as well and they still couldn't fit him so he had to buy a new pair of trousers for work. Uh, shirts fit him better up top, much looser in the stomach. From week one through number three, through week 12, you can just notice the massive difference in the fat loss. Once we got his technique nailed, um, down to the point of perfection that we were happy with that, um, get rid of all previous um, bad habits that he'd acquired over the years, um, there was no stopping him. Uh, there was a good, a good difference obviously in week one, and uh, every week I see my weight going up and up in terms of what I was lifting, so I suppose that was the motivation to keep going. And then, Obviously, as you were looking at yourself, you were seeing slight improvements week on week and it just kept you motivated going through. He already came into the programme in shape and his fitness levels was up there. By the end of the programme, he had put five solid kilo of muscle on, which is just incredible. Darren came in, hitting 80 kilo on his one rep max for bench press. Sloppy. Nah, he's doing multiple reps and sets with the same weight. When you've got someone that's created this programme is actually teaching other coaches to teach the programme, Yes, it just goes to show you that it's on a different level in comparison to what anyone else can do. And it's been proven that way for the results over the past 10 years and will continue to do so. Jared was brilliant, a tough taskmaster, like there was no slagging. He probably knew before you were doing a set of what you should be reaching and if you didn't reach it then he would have told you you weren't working hard enough. So he kept you on your toes and, and made sure like every day you, you left you, you worked 100% to your full ability. Like. Always there when you needed him, help you out with your, your diet anything he had questions about, always get on to as soon as possible. When he had new class starting, I would be quite nervous. He would be the one that would come over and sort of like talk to people and make everyone feel a bit more welcome. And it just relates back to the gym, you know, we do have a reputation in here for having a lot of impressive lifters over the past, but it would always be them sort of people that would be the most welcoming, the people you would think would be most intimidating. They're actually, they're probably one of the nicest people to be around with. The thing about Santor is everybody gets on and you're really made to feel at home here. Um, where be any advice you need, there's always somebody to give you advice. Oh, this is the best gym I've been to. I, <laughs> I've been to a few. <laughs> this is the first gym I've been to. You can come up to anyone and just chat to them. No problem. It is value for money in my opinion. Like, you can spend money in other gyms and don't get any results, but here I think if you spend the money and put the effort in, you're guaranteed the results.